intending this evening to, um, to present the report and go through it, but just to introduce it really, it's a, a high level report for quarter one um, for this year, April to June. Um, the covering report just gives you a sense of progress that's been made over the first quarter. Um, but the appendix then goes into detail about the higher level changes that um, has been made as part of the world plan. There is a link, um, I believe, which takes you to the council website to further supporting information. question to ask because it was a serious uh, issue that we were dealing with at the time. Again, there's another one. Undertake a full review of the bus network again. June, not started. And there's quite a few others. Now these are the in-depth reports that we were told to look at and make sure that we get all the relevant information to come to the site committee to deal with these particular issues. Now there's just three that have highlighted there. I could spend the rest of the evening going through a lot more shit.
road safety strategy at a city region level and then we're looking at doing that at a local rural level as well. So as I said before, over the next couple of months we are developing that city region approach. It's going to firm up what that strategy is. It's also going to get into um, looking at uh, the resources that we have as a city region and where we use some of that money as well. So certainly one of the debates we're going to be having around our city region table is around some of the money that comes in from things like the, uh, the road safety camera partnership and the money that we get from fines. Clearly the pressures on police resources that we talked about. We know that enforcement is really, really important in terms of that overall picture and improving the, uh, the position on road safety. So we're going to be developing that strategy and looking at some of the resources that go in at the Merseyside Police level and, and how we do all that and the things that we focus on. When we've got that in place, and it's important that we are doing this as part of that overall city region picture, we are continuing with our the approach that we've always had around road safety, around analysing the different kinds of accidents and developing plans and preventing things. But they will be carrying out a review and looking at what rural council strategy is you know, within, within that context. And, and, uh, and we're, we're certainly going to be doing that. You've heard from the area commander tonight, who's relatively new in post. He's got, uh, is it said below him, I think he's a chief inspector. Mm -hmm. So I think he, he's been allocating a very senior person within the police side of things to work closely with our team and with Dave Reese to make sure we develop that plan. A lot of this is about tactical interventions and programs and things we're going to do on the ground and identifying specific locations in case I types and things like that. So we've, been, we've always had an ongoing program we are going to be refreshing our approach um, over the coming months, uh, very much time with what Dave's talked about tonight, if that helps. Okay, Dave. Chris? I might go now to one of the greatest questions around the world. Go on, then. Yeah, it does, yeah. Um... 
I agree a lot with what, what they said. I mean, and we said at the training session last week that I attended that um, uh, Lynn David had a specific way to describe them. These reports are designed to confuse. These are not easy reading. These are not easy frames. You know, we've got green, amber, and amber. It's all in black and white. There's no colour printing. You know, which ones of these? We have to pick out which ones of these relate to business, which is our committee. They're all on there.
erosion by the loss of ions, the loss of ever the more points of contact and so forth, and the information and all that marking all comes on the back of the signing of the plus and line. So that's why the dates are fluctuating. It has been quite a difficult and um, stressful period trying to get this thing into place and signed and it's not actually signed as if it's not we're all blocked to in place now and it will stop you signing in the due course and it won't be then implemented. But it probably does it pushes everything back. But also the main factor is that the work that's going on on the rail network on the underground has an impact upon the time scale of that now put back to next year. Uh, until I was uh, I must do that.
businesses coming here into Wirral um, to use our fantastic waterfront. If they need planning permission for something, we can we can cut the red tape there. So we want to do a task and finish um, whereby we can attract entrepreneurs, if you like, into Wirral to do things that Alan's highlighted from other parts of the country, which are working well. And we're desperate to bring into the um, So that's what we're going to be doing. session, um, which I want to highlight, for Peel Holdings, and we've all been crying out to what's happening on the Little Waters and Peel Holdings, so we've got a, a spotlight session here on the 18th of October, and we thought about going to Peel, um, but we don't know how many members, I'm hoping we, we're going to get a full house for this one. It's on the 18th, the 18th of October, 6pm, and it's here in the Town Hall. But Peel keen, I believe, to get as many members as possible over to their place. They want to show off their fantastic building, I believe. Um, and if members are keen to go over to Peel, um, we can facilitate that. We can organise small groups of, of members going over to have a look at what they're doing there. Um, so we're quite excited about this one. We need updating on. We've been, talk we've been talking around this and about this for years now. As we keep saying, there's still no spades in the ground. So I, I think this is this is going to be a very informative session. So everybody, please put it in the diaries. Uh, the 18th of October. That's Peel Holdings, and particularly about Little Waters. Ron. Yeah,
we've taken both points of view on board. We are having the spotlight session on the 18th of October, when all these issues can be, can be raised. But I think the important thing about the, the trans streetcar is that the officers are well aware, and we've got a representative on the board of um, Mersey Travel, and I think by and large they do a great job, well. um, and Ron's made his comments. So all the parties are aware. So I think the spotlight session may happen. It'll be going out now that we've now that we've ratified this, this committee. It'll be going out on the hope tomorrow. Mike's just saying it'll be going out tomorrow to everybody. Um, okay, so yeah, so that's wound that one up. Any other business item thirteen? I hope. Just one very very small bit of information to share. Yeah. I finally got to see the name. I emailed the head of all City Tour uh, with a request from me, Stephen Tracy Pilgrim, for a special. Business committee to meet to discuss community development. To discuss what? Chris? Community development. Sure. Yeah, we'll look at that. Check community development in what way, because I think and it's, and it's, 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 it's to discuss it. That, that's all at this moment in time. Um, it will come forward, we'll have a look, we'll discuss it, but we'll discuss it before it comes to the okay. next yeah. step. Okay. Um, I'm conscious of the time. I'd like to thank everybody. Uh, it's a nice meeting. I think it's been very important. There's a lot come out. And thanks everybody for your